Hit that subscribe button right now, or every time you microwave something, it'll explode. These are the most unbelievable creatures walking the Earth right now. I would think he was on steroids or something. I think no. he was a bodybuilder. It is 100% natural. Hybrids with strange features, unique physiques, and appearances that make them stand out. So let's jump into this insane compilation of real-life hybrid animals that were created in the laboratories. This time, scientists explored how a human heart might interact with certain pig DNA in a controlled research setting. They tried various processes to attach the two. The possibility of growing human cells on this inside animal is an exciting first step for the dream of generating tissues and organs for transplantation in the human. Whatever the scientists were doing was legal, but highly questionable. That is why the embryo was only allowed to develop till 29 days and was not allowed to proceed further. But if they were not allowed to proceed with the research, then what is this? This half-human and half-pig was born on a farm in a remote area. Could this be the dire result of their research? The silence of scientists and zero information provided by the farmer raised several questions. Did they go behind the backs of authorities and still carry out the experiment? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Conjoined Frog In 2004, in Weston Supermare, UK, a three-headed frog was discovered. Scientists were baffled by its bizarre appearance, and it was a complete shock for everyone else. Its three heads and six legs were functioning properly, but it was not identified whether this mutant eats from all three heads. Later, when they studied the frog, they realized that it was because of incomplete division of embryos. The embryos were supposed to develop in three individuals, but due to some factors, they remained joint to each other. Implanted ear Scientists at the University of Massachusetts developed a technique to grow organs through implantation of artificial cells. The agenda was to heal deformed organs. I mean, mice are creepy enough, and this one has no hair, and a human ear growing on its back. Yes. He doesn't seem to mind that he has an ear growing on his back. No, he knows he's here for a bigger purpose. But this is a very, very important step in the science, because on the back of this animal, we're actually incubating and growing. But as soon as the information got out, people started protesting for animal safety, and instantly the research was dropped. Charles Vacanti claimed that it would have become a major source for organ implantation if they had let him complete his research. Frog Fly Wait a minute, what is that? Is that a hybrid of a frog and a dragonfly? The man who captured this strange creature took it to a researcher friend. The researcher claimed that it is very likely to be a failed experiment of hybridity. They might be trying a crossbreed between a frog or some giant insect. But when the scientists did not get the expected results, they must have thrown it out. Deformed Lizzie Some Indonesians found this bizarre creature on the road and started inspecting its identity. This was not a usual anomaly in the region. People questioned whether it was another failed experiment or some species breed naturally. Locals claim that it wasn't likely for a lizard and snake to breed naturally, so this must be the unwanted result of their crossbreed experiment. When the scientists did not get the results of their desires, they threw the poor creature out. Glowy rabbits. Turkish lab used a technique developed at the University of Hawaii to create glow-in-the-dark bunnies. The collaboration of scientists from Hawaii and Istanbul had created transgenic rabbits that glow in the dark at the University of Istanbul. An active transgenesis technique was used for this process, developed by the medical researchers in Hawaii in 2013. Must be thinking how it was possible, right? Well, the scientists implanted the embryos of all eight rabbits with a fluorescent protein from jellyfish, and only a pair adopted that gene, which made them glow in the dark, and made them a miracle of science and nature. Liggers 
who thought it was a good idea to let two top predators mate with each. Meet Ligger, classified as the world's biggest cat. A hybrid that comes from a male tiger and female lion is totally a man-made breed. They can grow to 12 feet and 900 pounds, and they possess the best traits of both of their parents from bite force to socializing in groups like lions, which means they would be pack hunters in the wild. Now imagine 900 pounds, pack hunters. Now you know why scientists are not so happy about it. <laughs> Gorilla Crow. You have to check out this bizarre bird that's taking the internet by storm. In 2019 in Japan, outside a mall, people witnessed a strange crow and instantly called it a bizarre hybrid. People claimed it was a crow and gorilla hybrid. I mean, just look at the visual and tell me what other explanation do we have. This unimaginable situation was addressed by the researchers in Japan and said that they would explain this bizarre gorilla-crow hybrid. But no news came out, and people assumed it as an unethical hybrid that came straight from scientists' laboratory. Four-Legged Snake <laughs> Have you ever seen a snake with four legs? If not, then you are lucky because what I am about to show you will blow your mind. In Shanghai, around 14 years ago, a man's pet lizard gave birth to a snake with legs. The pet owner was stunned, but decided to raise it and displayed it for showcasing to people. He quoted that my snake and lizard were unnaturally close, so I have kept them in the same enclosure. Seemingly they mated, and the result was astonishing, yet utterly bizarre. Roller bear. Climate change has caused two majestic beasts to breed naturally that could be helpful in future. The polar bears, due to habitat loss, started moving towards the south, and grizzly bears moved towards the north in search of food and crossed pathways. They decided to mate, which produced an offspring, a mixture of both. This hybrid offspring inherited intermediate qualities of both parents. Although it happened naturally, according to researchers, they are very rare. To be more specific, so far only 10 growler bears have been found, and that too are the offspring of a single polar mother. This could be the starting point of their hybridity. Jeep. For the first time, a hybrid of a sheep and a goat was born on a farm in Arizona. You must be thinking that why is this a rare case? Well, because it is very rare for a jeep to be born. Most of them don't make it out of their mother's womb, and some depart after a few days or weeks of their birth. Jeeps were produced artificially in laboratories, but this was a natural crossbreeding. We were not even aware that she was pregnant because we don't have a male <laughs> that, uh, you know, could get her pregnant right now. <laughs> Unexpected hybrid. Till now, you have seen hybrids of land. What if I show you a hybrid that was discovered underwater? A DNA analysis of a skull in 1990 shocked the scientists with the revelation of a fact that this skull belonged to a hybrid of beluga whale and a narwhal. Before that, it was considered impossible, but somehow these two species made it possible. University of Copenhagen researchers confirmed it by analyzing genetic material from its teeth, and this is the only evidence of crossbreeding between these specific species. Although this hybrid was a little different from its parents, it had a larger skull than both species and did not have the narwhal horns. Zebroids inside the territory of another weird hybrid animal named Zebroid, indicating a crossbreed between a zebra and a counterpart that could be a horse or a donkey. The Zebroids are infertile, and like every zebra, they have their own distinctive. Originally, Zebroids were bred in Africa with a goal of transferring zebras' natural immunity to different domestic horses. Zebroids also attain the aggressive attributes of zebras that made it very hard to domesticize. Zubron by, Zubron by far is the coolest collaboration of nature between a bison and a cow. It's a fascinating hybrid of the majestic bison and the humble domestic cow. Picture an animal with bison resilience and temperament of a cow. Perfect fusion of two worlds. 
The Zubrons are not only built muscular, but they have incredible features. Fur and stature. But beware of these beasts because they outgrow the size of both of its parents. Two-headed boa. A man brought his pet snake for a checkup, but the doctors were shocked to see a two-headed boa snake. When Carmela's owner came in to pick her up, he brought in something I've never seen before. A two-headed boa? What? When she x-rayed the specimen, she realized that this two-headed snake also has two hearts. I think I might have two hearts. Shut up. That is so cool. We're using the Doppler to assess the heart rate of the snake and also to evaluate that indeed this snake has two hearts. It does! <laughs> that Did you is hear so that? cool! Uh, Do it again! Do it again! Yeah. Do it again! It happens one in 100,000 that a snake has two heads, but this was the first time a snake with two heads and two hearts was reported. A deformity so rare that the doctors were even super excited. Although these specimens have a very low survival rate, lots of care can grant them a lifespan of years. You made it to the end. You're the real ones. Here's a special entry just for you guys. Super Cows. Imagine a cow so muscular that it looks like a bovine bodybuilder. A cow that produces more milk than its ancestors ever dream of. But I wouldn't get this close to him, I don't think. I would think he was on steroids or something. I think no. he was a bodybuilder. It is 100% natural, whereby, let's say, within so many generations, all breeds have taken the best of the best, or the more muscle of the more muscle. We moved from a normal classical type of animal, and then we select that sort of animal based on the double muscle. Belgium Blue, a product of selective crossbreeding of best muscular cows, is our next stop on the tour of how man is using science. To achieve this for over a hundred years, farmers have only allowed the cows and bulls of great muscle mass to mate, and the result is a cow that weighs over a ton. The animal, you mean? Yeah. Well, the animal is as healthy as another intensive producing animal. So this is about the most technological that meat can get? Not the most technological. In terms of technology, we talk about selection, natural selection, having achieved that. Is this a science experiment gone wrong or the key to feeding the world? 